So take a pause, run for your helmet and let's do this together. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Wamoyo Karaoke. If you're a returning subscriber and been watching my videos, thank you very much. I totally appreciate it. So today's video, we should do this together. I received a request or a question from one of my fans, Paul Muhoro, after he watched two of my videos that I'm going to link up here. The first one was how to spot a fake helmet and the second one was stop these killer helmets and the killer helmets i'm referring to the helmets that are given for free by dealers when commercial riders buy a new motorcycle these are like a mosquito here see you so he sent me this image of a helmet that was given to one of his friends after he bought a motorcycle and he was very concerned after watching that video on stop this killer helmet and so he asked me can you please help us find out if this helmet is genuine or it's fake whether it's helpful and safe to use or he needs to buy another one now i want to let you know that i don't know all the brands and i can't confirm to you that all the brands are good or bad so i usually also go through a process to find out if whatever i have at hand is fake genuine safe usable or needs to be thrown away and that's what i'm going to do with you in this video i'm also very eager as well to find out if these helmets are all bad or there's some that are good and therefore i don't need to call all of them killer helmets so i'm also eager to find out that so take a pause run for your helmet and let's do this together let's start i know now you have your helmet with you so let's start i'm putting an image of what muhoro sent to me and you can see a few details available the first is there's the name of the helmet the name of the brand of the helmet the second one is there's the standard specification used to certify that helmet and the third one is that you can actually see either it's a batch number or a code for the help for the helmet that you can use to actually verify if this helmet is genuine so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to type the name of the brand on google to find out if this brand actually exists because anything fake anything counterfeit will not have a presence online not unless you find it on those websites that are just used for selling products and merchandise to people but they won't have a proper presence of a manufacturer online so the name of this helmet is deletion and i'm going ahead to type deletion and see what comes up So you can see the deletion helmet comes up on Google and you can see a number of models are coming out. Even some are showing the specification that is put at the back of this helmet. So that tells us that there is a brand called deletion in the market and it's a genuine brand in the market. So let's go ahead and find out who the manufacturer of this brand is because there are several websites that it's popping up. So let's see who is the manufacturer of this a particular helmet so i've typed deletion and then i've typed the manufacturer deletion helmet manufacturer and this is what is coming up i'm still not able to verify if this is um, the manufacturer or not but there's one website that i like using when i want to check details more details about a product and that's amazon because amazon is very keen on the products that they put on their website and they give as much details as they can so let's head to amazon and see what pops up about this deletion helmet so it's up we can see that this brand is there and we can see all the details of the manufacturer we can see the specification we can see the certification so we've been able to verify two things now we've been able to verify that deletion is a brand that is in the market genuine and we've also been able to find out who the manufacturer is so let's go further and find out if this standard that is pasted at the back of this helmet is also a real standard or just a number 
again i'm typing this standard on the google and i'm going to see what pops up so looking at what has popped up you can see that this standard is actually a standard based in india and i've also been able to verify that the standard is an equivalent of dot so if you have a dot helmet and you have a helmet with isi from india you practically have the same um you practically have a helmet with the same safety standards this one is um the isi is a standard for india but dot is a universal standard one thing that you need to note or know about the dot uh, standard and the isi standard both of them do not send helmets to a particular farm that does the testing so these standards are given to manufacturers and the manufacturers are supposed to do the self-testing of the helmets that they're putting in the market so we pray that there's nobody who just takes the dot sticker and just pastes it on the helmet or takes the isi standard and pastes it on the helmet for purpose of this video we are going to assume that these standards have been put on this helmet genuinely because it was tested by the manufacturer so now having been able to verify that this standard is there and we can even see what this standard means and all the details of the standard let's look at the next number that we have on the helmet which is the code below the standard and see what happens So again, I'm putting this number on the Google and see what comes out. And you can see that the particular number comes out. This is a question on Cora website. Cora website is a website where people ask questions and professionals or people who understand their particular products and areas answer this from a professional point of view. So somebody asked how to verify if this particular um, number code is genuine or not genuine and this is what you're supposed to do so the number we have on our helmet is actually three two seven zero two four six and we are going to exactly do what is said here to confirm if this is actually a genuine helmet so we're going to take the five digits and work backwards multiply them so we have two times one we have zero times two we have seven times three, we have two times four and three times five. And then we're going to get the answers and add them all together and see whether we're going to get the last digit as in that code. So it is two plus zero plus 21 plus eight plus 15. And guys, guess what? If you're doing this with me, you already know the answer and it is correct. Yes. So from this simple example, exercise <laughs> yes so from this simple exercise of finding out if your helmet is fake or genuine by yourself using google i am confidently going to say that it is not all those dealers out there that are giving helmets that are not safe and good enough to use for riders so i take some a little of my words because they are those who are doing exactly what i said they are giving killer helmets but in this particular case from this research can i call it a research from the exercise we've done we are able to verify that this is a good helmet it meets the dot and isi standards it is safe to use and kudos to the dealer who sold that motorbike and gave that helmet thank you so much for being so considerate of your client and their life so now we've finished this exercise i want to just hear what you found out about your helmet please make sure to put it down below in the comment section and then click the subscription button if you've come this way and you haven't subscribed please do that so that you always get to notified you get notified when i put up new videos until the next video it is bye for now